Take you out to the Solar Family Estate camera in Dayton. We're starting to get a little bit of daylight out there. Surfaces just look wet. We're at 36 degrees, but I'm sure many of you in the Amhill Valley have seen that rain snow mix with that band of moisture passing through. It looks like right over McMinnville and pushing into Yamhill at the moment. We have other uh, bands of moisture moving up to the northeast as well, uh, mainly in the form of that wintry mix down closer to sea level. And it's uh, really light stuff, light to moderate precipitation rates. And uh, the difference between this morning and Monday is it's just not this steady uh, precipitation for hours and hours and hours. This is just bands of moisture moving in. So that's why we haven't seen those temperatures get driven down near sea, uh, near freezing rather near sea level. Uh, that's really confined to elevations above 500 feet where we could still pick up a quick dusting, maybe upwards of an inch to two inches at best of snow. Certainly going to be taking place in the uh, foothills of the uh, southern Washington and northern Oregon Cascades where uh, we we have a little bit of orographic lift going on out there and it looks like some uh, snow is starting to manifest itself over into uh, central Oregon in the Columbia River Basin. So uh, folks just to the east of the Dalles, if you're driving on Interstate 84, you may be dealing with some uh, light snow out there where temperatures are starting off in the 20s and 30s and most of us uh, west of the Cascades are in uh, the upper 30s and low 40s. Uh, along the coast today, just expect on and off showers. We could see an isolated thunderstorm. Other than that, temperatures are going to rise into the mid to upper 40s. I think that snow stays confined to the coast range. And and our western valleys today will climb into the upper 40s. Best chance for snow will be over the next couple of hours. Uh, once we get into the late morning, we'll see a real transition over uh, to it looks like uh, rain showers and isolated thunderstorms will be possible. But a few showers will be left over Thursday. Friday looks great. Saturday is going to be kind of a soaker with on and off rain showers. And then Sunday is going to be the day to get outdoors this weekend. Sunday looks like to be the uh, likely to be the warmest day over the next week with highs around 60 degrees. Tony.